Hey, what's up guys? It's Flex and welcome back. As you guys know, when I first got my 2016 Mercedes-Benz C300, one of the first mods that I did was I upgraded the small OEM screen to a 10 inch Android screen. And I've been really happy with the screen, but recently I actually took that screen off. The reason I did that was not because I hated the screen or because it started malfunctioning or having issues. I returned my car back to the OEM screen because DMP Car Design just released a brand new product that's going to allow me to add Android Auto and Apple CarPlay to the OEM screen. And I thought this would be a good opportunity to show the people that are interested in upgrading their screen, but they might not like the Android screen look. They might not like the price. They just might not like the overall features and functionality of it. So for someone who's looking for a cleaner OEM look, but with some upgrades, this is probably your best solution. And I wanna thank DMP Car Design for sponsoring this video and providing me with the product. And if you want more information on the product in this video, I'll leave the links in the description below. So in this video, I'm gonna be installing the module that's gonna allow the OEM screen to have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. After this video is done, I'm gonna take it off and I'm gonna be reinstalling my Android screen because personally, I like the Android screen a lot more because of the size, because it already comes with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and it has tons and tons of features. But again, that might not be for everyone. People might not wanna spend that kind of money. So this is a great alternative. So now let me show you the product and then we'll get to the install. Here's the entire kit. Let me walk you through each of the parts. This is the module. This has the software for the CarPlay and Android Auto. This harness here plugs into the harness on the back of the radio. This doesn't get used. This is the audio cable. I'm gonna convert it to a USB since my car takes a USB input. So I'm just gonna plug that into here. This plugs into the back of the radio for the display. And this right here is the Wi-Fi receiver. But before I can install the kit, I need to first configure these switches back here. So for the switches, they actually have to match up with a specific setting. So my car is a C-Class, 8.4 inch screen with an OEM rear camera. So I need to follow this guidance right here. Switch number two, four, five, and six will need to be in the up position and switch one, three, and seven will need to be in the down position. Switch eight is not shown, but I'm gonna leave that in the up position because I am using an OEM microphone. So once that's all said and done, this is how it looks. And now I should be able to install this on the car. Since I'm gonna be working with electrical components, I'm gonna first disconnect the battery. I will need to remove the center console. I'm gonna do that by grabbing my trim removal tool and removing this trim here. I'm gonna pry up on the sides and hold it up on each side. Then I'm gonna push on the center button while prying all around the trim piece. It should pop right up. Next, I'm gonna grab my torque screwdriver and remove these two screws. And once the screws are removed, I can carefully pull up on the center console and set it aside. Using the same torque screwdriver, I'm gonna remove two torque screws holding the radio in place. Now I can slide the radio right out. To remove the large connector, I'm gonna pinch on this latch 
and pry it up. And then once it's fully unlocked, I can pull the connector right off the radio. Next, I'm gonna remove the satellite radio connections. There's actually a clip right here I just need to press down on and I should be able to pull the connection right off. So here is the new harness. I'm gonna connect one end to the stock harness. Again, it's just a matter of opening a latch and closing it. Now for the other end, right here, I'm gonna first install the satellite radio connection. And then I'm gonna plug it to the back of the radio and latch it in place. Next, I'm gonna remove this blue connection here that's plugged into the display port on the back of the radio. There's actually a clip that I just pushed down back here and I should be able to pull the connection right off. Now I'm gonna take the blue connection from the module and plug it right into that port. And I'll take the OEM blue connection that I just removed and plug that into the port on the back of the module box. So I went ahead and reinstalled the radio. The module box is under here. All I have left is the Wi-Fi receiver and the audio cable. The Wi-Fi receiver, I'm just gonna tuck it in here. It actually works perfectly fine. I can also run it out through the footwell and somewhere up top if I wanted to, but I don't really need to. And the audio cable, I'm just gonna run to the center armrest. I'm gonna remove these two screws holding the armrest down and I'll slide the wire right in. Now I'm just going to retighten the screws for the armrests. Now I'm going to plug the audio cable into the converter and then plug the USB into the USB port. That's it. Now I can go ahead and put everything back together and test the unit out. Now that everything is put back together, I'm gonna to go ahead and program the module. I need to first scroll over to media. Go down to devices, and I'm gonna select USB aux. So to get to the interface for the module, I need to either hold down this back button here, or this one here. So I'm gonna hold this one down for a few seconds and it should take me right to the interface. So on the interface, we have iOS for CarPlay, Android for Android Auto, USB, MirrorLink, DVR, Home, which will take me back to the Mercedes-Benz interface, and Settings. So under Settings, the first option is just for languages. I'm gonna leave it on English. The second option, I'm gonna leave auto phone connect turned on. Driver position is left. Front camera, there's no use for that. Wireless CarPlay, I'm gonna leave on. Android Auto, I'm gonna leave off since I'm not using it. 
and I'm just gonna leave it on Android. So now I'm gonna go back to the main interface, scroll to the left, and select iOS. So now it's telling me I need to have both my Wi-Fi and Bluetooth turned on on my phone. So here's my phone. I need to first make sure that Siri is enabled. Then I'm going to scroll up and make sure both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are turned on. I'm going to select Bluetooth. And it should be able to pick up on the program. There it is. I'm going to select it. Now it's asking me for a pin. I'm just going to enter 0000, 000 and hit pair. There, it's paired up. Now I'm going to select iOS again. Now there's an alert on my phone asking me if CarPlay should automatically connect. I'm going to hit use CarPlay. And there it is, Apple CarPlay. I have access to all the apps that are on my phone that are compatible with CarPlay. This logo right here will just take me back to the interface. So now I'm just going to select iOS again. And I have access to my calendar, settings, Google Maps, Pandora, Spotify, WhatsApp, YouTube Music, just a bunch of other stuff that's compatible with Apple CarPlay. But what I really want to do is I want to shut off my car and come back into the car and see if it will automatically connect me to Apple CarPlay when I enter the iOS option on the interface. So right now the car is off. My phone has Bluetooth and Wi-Fi turned on. Let's turn on the car. I'm going to hold down the back button for a few seconds. Scroll to the left to iOS. And there you have it. Apple CarPlay automatically connects. That's super cool and really convenient. Well, there you have it. The install is pretty straightforward. It was really good to be able to bring CarPlay and Android Auto to the OEM screen. Now I got some work to do because I'm gonna be pulling this out and reinstalling my Android screen. I haven't had it on for months and I'm just really excited to be able to put it back on this car. So I hope you guys liked the video. If you do, hit like below. As always, make sure you subscribe and I will see you next time.